Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. And more specifically, welcome to Kingdoms and Friends, where we get to play with all the EDH aficionados across the MTG universe. In our first episode of this series, we have the pleasure of playing CDH with Josh and Johnny of Second Seven. Second Seven streams weekly on Twitch, so find their information in the description down below. If you'd like to see more videos in this series, please l let us know by smashing the like button and commenting that you'd like to see more in the comments. For today's game, Josh is playing Rograx, Son of Ragra, and Thrasios, Triton Hero. This is a mid-range combo deck that looks to polymorph one of the commanders into Tide Spout Tyrant and combo off with the Tyrant and mana positive artifacts. If that doesn't work, he has a few Underworld Breach and Brain Freeze lines to close out the game. His starting hand includes Spring Leaf Drum, Veil of Summer, Wild Growth, Simic Signet, Sylvan Library, Fierce Guardianship, and Spire Garden. Johnny is playing Silvala Explorer Returned. This is a mid-range combo deck that looks to get infinite mana through one of the many large mana creatures and then combo out with Umbral Mantle or Staff of Domination. If infinite mana is not on the board, a big Finale of Devastation has a similar effect in most situations. His starting hand includes Autumn's Veil, Noxious Revival, Marwyn the Nurturer, Ranger Captain of Eos, Brushland, Temple Garden, and a Forest. Carlos is playing Tana the Bloodsower and Timna the Weaver. This is a hardcore creature stacks deck looking to slow the game down as much as possible until it can put together a Kiki Pod combo or just use old fashioned combat damage with Elish Norn. His starting hand includes Path to Exile, Assassin's Trophy, Containment Priest, Kataki Wars Wage, Vexing Shusher, Burning Catacombs, and Wooded Foothills. John S is playing Cody Vociferous Codex. This is a fast combo deck that uses the many twiddle effects and Cody's ability to pseudo cascade into a Thoracle combo. His starting hand includes Stony Strength, Triton Tactics, Peer into the Abyss, Savannah, Taiga, Volcanic Island, and Watery Grave. And with that, let's play! Pre game actions. Anybody for games? Awesome. Sweet. I'm nope. gonna play magic. Spire Garden is land for turn. I'd like to cast Rograx out of Rogoth. Cast a Springleaf Drum. To cast a Wild Growth, enhancing the Spire Garden. I'd like to pass the turn. Brush lands. Pass the turn. Drop a you turn. I'm going to play Wooded Foothills. Rack it for one, take a damage, and I'm getting a Savannah, and I'll pass the turn. Go ahead and draw. The Watery Grave tapped, and I will pass the turn. Draw. Fiery Islet as land for turn. Cast a Simic Signet. I would like to cast a Sylvan Library. I'll pass the turn. I got greedy and I shouldn't have. Uh, Temple Garden mm. enters tapped. Pass the I turn. I definitely oh, didn't oh. draw this Fiery Islet. Hashtag never punish. Draw for turn. Play a Verdant Catacombs. We're going to crack it. We're going to get a... A Red Green Titan. Tap those two for Kataki Wars Ra Wage. That one's just for you. Where's my lightning bolt? Uh, I'll pass after that. Untap draw. Let's go a Taiga, and I will pass. One moment, please. I'm in exile. Untaps. Upkeeps. Trigger Kataki. Draw. Trigger Sylvan Library. I would like to draw two additional cards. I would like to play an Exotic Orchard as land for turn. I would like to cast a Trashios Triton Hero. I'll pass the turn. Forest land for turn. Three here for Marwin. Nurturer. And then we pass the turn. Tap. Draw. I did get this little dude. Yeah, you know, land of our elves. I'm going to send this at John S for two. And I'll pass. Troll. And I'll pass the turn. End of turn. I'm going to oh. attempt a path on Thrasios. I'm just trying to draw a single card. <laughs> Would like to cast a Veil of Summer. Oh wait, you've cast a white spell. That's stupid. Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. do that. I definitely don't have a Veil of Summer in my hand. Um, <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I'm gonna cast a Fierce Guardianship, targeting Path to Exile. And it. Yep, that's good. We'll move to turn four. Draw a card. Trigger Sylvan Library. Yeah, take eight. Feels great. Jeez. I'd like to play an Island as land for turn. I'll cast a Felwar Stone. Sadly. Yeah, we'll pass. Untap. Draw. Tapping four mana here. And we're going to go for a Smothering Tide. Ugh. I would like to activate Thrasios, taking one from Fiery Islet. And in response, well, holding priority, I'd like to pay two life for a Noxious Revival, targeting Fierce Guardianship. Fierce Guardianship on top of the library. I would like to scry one. I will reveal a Fierce Guardianship. I will draw this card. I'd like to cast a Fierce Guardianship, targeting Smothering Tide. I got no response, and I don't think anyone else is going to save my own Smothering Tide, so <laughs> we're just going to watch that go away now. You guys are having fun over there. 
I don't know if we should say I'm having fun. I probably, if you can't guess after missing a land drop, really liked that smothering dive. Yeah, that's that's the reason why I countered it. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Uh, my turn, yeah. Yeah. Draw for turn. I'm going to cast Timna. Timna's here. Party. Yeah. Trying to draw some cards or what? Party, party. <laughs> Trying to draw a lad is all. I'm going to go at Johnny V for two. That's fair. Uh, I guess I got to take that because uh, I got no box. Assuming damage connects, I'll go to post main. I'll lose life. And draw from Timna. I did not draw <laughs> land, and I'll pass turn. I will draw. Go with a volcanic. Let's uh, cast Cody. Yeah. I will pass. Untap. Upkeep. This thing. Draw. Civil library. Uh, 20 minus 8 is 12. I will pass the turn. I was going to Noxious Survival on your end step targeting Smothering Time. <laughs> I presume no one has a response for that. Just sadness. Yeah, pity, mostly. I wonder what I drew. Let's we're going to take one of the brush land here, and we're not going to cast. We're actually going to cast Ranger Captain of Eos here, because mm. I do have to reveal it. Elvish Mystic to hand. Yep, Elvish Mystic to hand. So I will tap Marwin to cast Elvish Mystic. Uh, wow. And if anyone wants to stop the dork, they can. If not, that's the end of the turn. I will put a counter on Marwin. All right, draw for turn. Johnny V, do you want to take two so that he still has to tap all his artifacts? I will. I will take the two here. I will I, help you. Uh, yeah, slow I think it's him down slightly in hopes to do this exactly. Thing. All right, I'm gonna attempt Assassin's Trophy on Cody. What? Why? All right, I'll force pitching Triton tactics. I would like to respond to Force of Will. I will cast a Deflecting Swat, targeting Force of Will, redirecting Force of Will to Deflecting Swat. Nice. Deflecting Swat redirects Force of Will. Force of Will fizzles. Assassin's Trophy resolves. Cody is in the Trident command center or in the graveyard. Yeah, command okay. You get your uh, basic land uh, untapped. Uh, let me go see if there is one. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I might as well get the shuffle out of it. Phil's fine. No basics. Hot searching. All right, now I, I will send uh, Kataki at uh, Johnny and Timna at John S. I took two. Right, I'll take two. Okay. Gain two. Then go to post combat. I will lose t one and two and draw two. Can't believe I didn't draw that. It's all birds. At the beginning of your end step, I would like to cast a brain freeze. Storm count is currently five. Assassin's Trophy, Force of Will, Deflecting Swat, Birds of Paradise. Oh, so it's four. Brain freeze would be the fifth. So I'm looking to target myself with five copies of Brain Freeze. Uh, Man of All, Spire of Industry, Reshape. Chain of Vapor, Mox, Opal, Isochron, Scepter. Oath of Druids, Time Twister, Shatter Skull, Smashing. Three lands. And Brainstorm, Tropical Island, Transmogrify. Okay, I assume nothing else. I'll discard the Canonist and be done. Yeah. Tap, draw. Let's go, D. All right, go ahead. Because Kotaki exists. Draw. Trigger Silver Library. Take eight. You're not dead yet. I will draw no additional cards. I'd like to play a Bloodstained Mire as land for turn. I will sacrifice this Bloodstained Mire and search my library for... I have to get a mountain. Stomping ground on the battlefield tapped. And cast Utopia Sprawl onto the stomping ground. Utopia Sprawl will make a blue if this land is tapped for mana. Pass the turn. Draw. Bountiful Promenade as land for turn. I'm gonna pay four here, attempt to cast Smothering Tide. I'm gonna pay two here for Stoneforge Mystic. Which gets an equipment. Found it really fast, too. We went and got Lightning Greaves, actually. After that, I will pass the turn. Drop a turn. Would you like to pay the two? Nope. All right, uh, John S., um, do you want me to not kill your Cody and take you'll take two damage so I can draw a card? <laughs> I, uh, sh sure. I'm going to send Kataki at John V, and I'm going to send Timna at John S. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting stuff swung at me now? Oh, my, yeah, oh, no. you can you can block it as always, but I think it's in your best interest to slow um, Josh down. Damage is dealt. Second main, I will uh, have gained two and lose two, and draw two, and not pay. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a game! No way! What a game! No, I got the land. I got the land. Exotic Orchard. We'll first go yeah. with a deafening silence. I would like to respond. I would like to pay two life and cast a mental misstep. Counts for that one CMC spell. Play Eidolon of Rhetoric. That is all. I will pass the turn. Untap and still pay one for Cody. I'm guessing you're not paying the two for the draw? No. A training ground? Go ahead. I'm going to take one from Fiery Islet. we got a total of four mana. I'd like to activate Thrasios. With the ability on the stack, I will respond with the swords on Thrasios. I would yeah. like to gain one life. Ha! You fool! 
I will look at this card. I will put it on the bottom of my library. I will reveal a card. Swan Song. I'd like to put that card in my hand. A draw card for turn. Uh, by the way, I will not pay for Swan Song draw. Oh, it is a draw? I thought it was yes, put. It is a draw. My mistake. Trigger Sylvan Library trigger. I will not pay for this one. I will not keep any additional cards. You can have two triggers. Woohoo! I would like to transmute Muddle the Mixture. Search my library for a two drop and put it into my hand. Reveal it, put it in my hand. I tricked you? No. Carlos did. Carlos tricked you. Ha! The treasures. I took the damage. They're gonna have to either pay for themselves or explode. <laughs> yeah. I, Here's I, the I, thing. Here's the thing. I didn't even realize that. I'm very happy you mentioned that right now, though, before I attack you uh, next time. But I I did not re recognize that. I trusted you. I'm did gonna it. grab a fire prophecy. I'll pass the turn. On your end step, crack two treasures. Tap the Stoneforge Mystic to put Umbral Mantle onto the battlefield. I'm gonna tap the Spire Garden. I would like to cast Fire Prophecy targeting Ranger Captain of Eos. I would like to bottom a card. He has been explodified. Good. Untap. I will not pay for any of the treasures, so they will just be sacrificed. <laughs> and then I will pay the one to keep the Umbral Mantle. Tap to activate the Stoneforge Mystic. Is there any response to the activation? To put down this Lightning Greaves onto the battlefield. And we're gonna tap this for a white. Marwin for two green, attempt to cast Selvala. Uh, response to Selvala. It's up to you, John. Nope. Have, it. Don't have it. Dig it. All right. Marwin will actually become a 3 3. Attempt to move the boots onto Selvala. Boots, anyone? Boots, anyone? Bueller? Yeah, boots. Mantle went on first because I can't read cards. Gally Harley. Harley reads, we all reveal the top card and then draw it. Misty Rainforest. Uh, March Flats. Collector Oof. Oof. And is that another land? Yeah. Cool. For each non-land card revealed this way, add one green. So I make one whole mana. Would any of you like to pay for your Smothering Tithe triggers? Nope. Yeah, def no. Nope. So that'll be three treasures and one floating green. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Things might not be over actually, right? You can't cast any more spells this turn. Right, but... You're gonna mill us? I can't mill you because I would die too, because I also draw. No, I die first. I definitely have the least amount of things in my library. That sounds but great. Then you, also, do that. then you also give both other players this many cards. Do that. Yeah. We're gonna pay, use the three treasures to untap Silvala. Shall we parlay again? Land for me. We got uh, three non-land. Non non-land, yeah. Oh, I should have gained one life last time, so now I've gained four life total. Is that you could mill Carlos, then cast spells again, because Carlos draws out. True. But then, granted, I'm dead first, so you literally just have to hope that John S. doesn't have a removal spell for something important. Oh yeah, John hasn't cast a spell you. and he has three mana, so yeah. To have me die before before you John, cast before, spell. Yeah. Or before John gets an answer, yeah. Damn. Say parlay. Parlay. Outstanding. Land. Non-land. Non-land. Non All right, let's parlay again. Non-land. So non Non-land. Uh, land. Parlay. Non-land. 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 Grim model. Parlay again. I gotta land. Land. Non-land. Non-land. Non -land. Non -land. Parlay. Land. Non land. Non land. Non land. Do it again. Non land. Non land. Non land. Parlay. Silence. Non land. Parlay. Parlay. Let's go again. Emil. Let's go again. Let's go again. You're currently 44 mana. 44 mana. So which means yeah. I just need the white mana off. One last parlay, everybody. Yeah, it doesn't even matter because I'm not looking for the mana nets. I'm looking for you all to draw the card. To draw a not nature claim. We do the thing where we move the umbral mantle to Elvish Mystic. So okay. You have three, three treasures. white mana, infinite green mana. And. A big, big Marwin. Okay. okay, so he's swinging two very large creatures at you. I you got it, Carlos? I do not. I block Marwin. Savala gets it. Carlos is dead. Second main phase. What would you like to do with your life? Mobilize. Land for turn. I'm going to crack a treasure to attempt to cast silence here. I have response. I mean, you know I have this. You can just make me use this first. I would like to cast Swan Song, targeting silence. In response to Swan Song, I will cast Autumn's Veil. I will pay two and activate Cody. Blue for a Mystical Tutor. Trigger Cody. Cody will hit Pack ah. Negation. Resolve Mystical. Putting Shallow Grave. I'll Manamorphose Red and White into two more black and draw a card. Entomb, Thassa's Oracle with one. Shallow Grave, putting a black. Return, trigger on the stack, consultation. In response, I'd like to parlay. To start Wait, track. no, you do it after it resolves. Oh yeah, <laughs> after, yeah, that's true, you're right. Consultation. I have no response to demonic consultation. I'm gonna name Noxious Revival. We're gonna exile the top six, and then the next cards are exiled as well. Uh, for those of you at home, Silence and Swan Song are still on the stack. <laughs> By the way, and Autumn's Veil too. 
Well, you just wanted to do a quick little deck tech. Yeah, huh? you, you just wanted to show us the whole deck. <laughs> That's what it is. Tech, 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 Resolves. Fastest Oracle resolve. to be on the staff. So it goes off. Sorry, I forgot the card actually does something. One on top, two on bottom. There is a Autumn's Veil on the stack. Do you have any new responses, Johnny? Yes. I would like to parlay now. In response to your parlay, I'll knock just Revival and put Consultation back on top. Consultation, Sweet. coming back. Parlay. One from him yeah, and make, one from you? Yeah, make three mana. Three manas. Autumn's Veil on the stack, Johnny. Pay three on tap, Silvala. Autumn's Veil, John S to you. I will pack. Autumn's Veil. The Pact of Negation, targeting Autumn's Veil. I will parlay again. Nature's Claim, but I'm tapped out. Three. Cool. You will use the three to untap Sobala. Now the draw question is over. You can just draw me out. Oh yeah, I just go infinite on top of the stack right now. I'm good here. John S, are you good to lose? I'm dead. I did it! I finally won with this deck. Oh god, it's so it hurts my brain, but oh I love Sobala. Oh. I that game was crazy. I'm glad we team efforted, and even though this is a CDH game, we still enjoy seeing people win and watching them do the things that they like to do with the decks and exactly how they built them. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That was yeah, like sweet. sometimes it happens, right? Each deck in today's game had a moment to shine. Josh's deck had all the best interaction, Carlos's deck had relevant stacks pieces, John S almost comboed out out of nowhere, and Johnny's deck had resiliency and the right combo to take home the win. All around, this was a great game, and we had a blast playing with the second seven crew. Our new Patreon tiers are up and over at www.patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. You can join our Discord, play webcam games with our crew, and more, all for only two bucks a month, and it really does help. Thanks so much to our current patrons, and we look forward to seeing you again really soon. Keep it nerdy.